Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't mind the guest that's part of this video. She just needed to have some lap time. Um, anyways, thinking back to last week's video, the tall dresser I did in the beautiful tally green. Here is a preview of what it looked like and what we ended with. Stay tuned for details on that piece, what I ended up listing it for, what it cost me to refinish, and um, what I ended up actually selling it for because I have since sold it, thankfully. Today I'm going to be working on a hutch. It, it's a very versatile piece. It can be a bathroom cabinet, a coffee bar, a bookshelf, or just an accent piece in a living room. So come along, see what I've done with this piece that I have, what color I chose, and this fun little detail that I haven't done before that I experimented with on this. Stay tuned to the end to see the final result. Now I'm removing all of the hardware, then I will remove the drawers and get it ready to be wiped down with some white lightning. This will help best prep the piece, that way all our hard work with painting it will last a longer time. This is what the water looked like once I was done cleaning. So this just shows how important it is to wipe down your items. I'm going to sand down everything with 120 grit sandpaper. This will be our scuff sand. And what this does is roughens up the surface enough to give our primer and paint something to adhere to, but knocks down any raised parts and kind of gives it a, a smoother or more even coat.
Now we are ready to prime. I'm using the Bin Zinzer Primer with Shellac. I find, and what I've heard from fellow uh, furniture flippers, that having shellac is important because that will really cover that tone underneath, especially with darker wood or if you're doing a light color paint. Um, this just really covers that. It gives you a better baseline for whatever paint you are using. Now I'm going to do a light sanding with 220 grit to smooth everything out. everything a good wipe down and get it ready for our paint. I am using Dixie Bell's mineral paint in the color Wharf. It's like a blue gray. And the cool thing about this paint is you technically don't need a primer, but since we are doing a darker wood, I figured it would, wouldn't hurt, but you definitely don't need to do a top coat. So as soon as we are done painting, that will be all we need to do. I let that coat dry and then I applied a second coat and that ended up being enough. The hardware with this Krylon metallic gold spray paint. I'm applying the decorative backing to the piece. This is not a peel and stick, so I'm having to measure it out first, and then I will use spray adhesive to get it to adhere to the backing.
Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I had to do to improvise since the length is shorter than the space I'm working with. I cut out the tiles. That way when I cut this second piece here, it'll kind of intertwine with that one and hopefully the seam will be less visible. So we'll see how that turns out. And it worked! Yay! Now it's time to stage the piece and take pictures to get ready to post. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed that process. So before I get into this piece, let's talk about the tall boy from a few weeks ago. I ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace for full asking price. I listed it at 300. I had a few inquiries. Some people asked for less and I came close to caving, but after being patient, as I've been told by my fellow furniture flippers, some, the right person did end up coming along and she even offered to put down a deposit, came to pick it up. She was the ideal customer. So she ended up paying $300. So I bought that piece for $40 on OfferUp. And I put $40 in cost towards the paint and sandpaper and different supplies. And I sold it for the $300. So I made $220 profit on my first flip. And then for today's piece, as I mentioned earlier, I bought it in that bulk furniture set. So it was around roughly $20. I put only $25 towards it, just in the cost of the paint and I listed it for $4.25 on OfferUp, on Facebook Marketplace, and on Nextdoor app. I haven't had any inquiries yet, but I have had a lot of views and people have been saving it, so I know that there's some interest. I'm going to practice that patience that I've been told about and I'll see if I end up having to lower it, um, but I am hoping to sell it for close to that $4.25 mark as it was a lot more work than that tall boy since it was two separate pieces. Um, so, and with the backing that I applied. We'll see what I end up selling it for. Stay tuned to the next video for the update. Thank you guys for watching. Also, please, in the comments, let me know what you like about these videos, what can be improved. I'm just trying to make it very um, tailored to you guys and what you can learn from these different furniture flips. All right, thank you. Please like and subscribe.